what I learned from my first fight, you know, my first fight, I feel like I was fighting the guy from distance. You know, uh, this second fight, uh, my goal is just to go, go close. I'm a pressure fighter. And that's, what I, that's what our goal is be like. I want my son to focus, he know what he's doing. And I believe he can do it. But I believe my son will go away. I believe it. I believe he can go. The way he dedication and everything, the way he training and all. I know you're 61, but do you think you can get in the ring with your son right now? Of course. Of course. It's, it's an, I'm, look, I'm one to shame how to do it. I, I would knock your ass. I would knock his ass out. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I, I would knock his ass out. You know me. You know me. No, no. He's he, he definitely going to beat my ass. My son will come, <laughs> come, come up when I start it. Because I believe my son can do it. Because he has the power now, you know. Yes, the power. I know I'm with my son. Start to box. No, he's a very quick guy, a quick boy, a quick learner. He learns so fast. If you always put limits on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your work and into your life. There are no limits. There are only plateaus. And you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. But let me say this, as, as, a, as a female, as a woman, I had that womanly touch, right? Yeah, I, I thought you were going to come in. No, I know no, I was going to no, come no, in. The no, way no, you did before. Hey, no, hey, hey. You just go, you just go stagger. I thought you were going to come in. I was like hinting you were to come in. You just go stagger. You want to come in? Okay. 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 So, okay. What, what I add, actually, I'm a, a classical musician, so I'm an artist, and um, I understand him in a way that Tiger doesn't understand him. I think because Mecca is, Mecca is also an artist. He's very creative, like me. So I understand that creative mind. I understand that he's, it's he's complement. He's complicated. He's temperamental. So. I understand what he needs. I understand. I've gotten to know him over the past five years, so I know when to back off. And uh, you know, maybe I step in a little bit too much. But and he lets me know. Believe it. Believe me. He lets me know. But um, I, I take care of. I try to take care of all, all as many needs as I can to make to make his life a little bit easier because he's working hard. He gets up early. He's he's. He's doing his training, he's working, he's doing another training, and you know, not even resting that much. So I tried to do things to make his life a little bit easier so he can just focus on his training and continue to improve. I always dream of me, you know, fighting like an IBF title, world champion. I always dream of taking a belt, and that belt would definitely come through. The belt I want to get, it's a world champion bed and I pray to God. God will take my journey and God will lead me there. I just believe on God and I believe on myself. You know, and I believe on the people that support me. I will get there. There you go, guys. Yes, sir.